Charlie Cannons, Charlie Cannons, boom, 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 we are not pirates. Welcome back, everyone, from the Thanksgiving break. I hope you're still full. I know I am so much food. Did you guys have good Thanksgivings? Oh, really my gosh, fantastic Thanksgiving, yeah. I, I would say one of mine, I had, like, one of these double Thanksgivings, yeah. but I didn't know the second one was going to oh be boy. another Thanksgiving. So oh. we went oh. to Mom and Dad's where, right. uh, where we had the main event. Yeah. We had tons of food, and, like, I filled up my plate twice had dessert, mm -hmm. you know, sampled everything, delicious, and then we were going over to uh, Alice's dad's house for, like, what was supposed to be, like, a, a get-together, air quotes type thing. It was never even described as dinner, and we walk in, and they were like, build a plate, and I'm like, okay. Oh, <laughs> like, I think oh, the color drained man. from my face. That is a bummer. That is a bummer. So you ate triple. Basically. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we had. Oh, let's go ahead and start the match. Let's do it. Victor let's do Crumb it here. We had a. Um, we went to Beth's aunt's for like a get together or whatever, and it, there was dinner there, but we left without eating. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So was there any feeling of like rudeness associated with that? Like, oh no, sorry, we have another engagement. Oh or? no, they knew ahead of time. They knew. So, okay, so it was yeah. okay. It, it was. Okay. was uh, yeah. Cause I could I could see that being kind of like a, a strange thing. Well, it's it's sort of a weird one now, that particular one, because it's almost yeah, yes. it's almost like it, you can sort of see. It feels like you're on the tail end of a tradition. Okay. Like that you sort of stumbled into, but all their kids have now grown up and they all live all over the place, and you know, so some of them were there this year, and uh, you know, I don't know. Oh um, wait, wait, I have to start boom. Oh yeah! Oh, oh yeah, oh, Derek! Yeah, because Derek, Derek broke yep. the rules. Oh, that's right. right. Well, I never so. touched the ball last time, so I don't feel bad. So I'm just gonna ping Derek around. Yep, that's about right. Yep. So we have to boom oh, somebody. No. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. Whoops. Just watch it go by. So apparently, in a previous episode, Derek got boomed and no one noticed, and he just kept playing. And uh, so now he's gonna start this game boom. So we gotta boom somebody. We'll we gotta make it. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. I, we think, discovered I that. think the accidental not boom coincided with a goal, and so since everybody reset, he might just not have yeah, noticed. Yeah, just didn't even think of it or something. Right. I don't know. Oh, that's possible. Yeah, this is where I wish you could um, integrate like the rules like, like the this, into rule? the yeah. game. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like your your Pokemon does lock Jay, where like every time yeah. a Pokemon faints, it's like they're they're actually they're just dead, dead. dead. Oh gosh, I cannot get a good hit on that ball and just floundering in circles there. That was terrible. Uh, I was sort of sort of in position for this one, waiting. Didn't have the ups for it though. All right, ups. So a couple of quick updates before we jump into questions. Uh, we got an update from Shadowstorm. Um, who said, I took your advice and joined the cross-country team. Yeah. I've heard you guys talk Always about how amazing advice. it is. I'm a freshman, and I wanted to do a sport to make friends, and it's the best decision no! I've ever made. Oh my gosh, how are we getting so destroyed right here? Uh, that is awesome news. Yeah. Do they have any reasons or um, Yeah, uh, they or? said, uh, I made a ton of friends. It gave me something to do after school. It was uh, one of the best falls that I ever had. I can't wait till next year. In my first race, I got a 1949, and Whoa, I ended nice. the season at an 1853. There so you a, go. Almost a full minute of improvement in their that's first season. That is an impressive that is a very five good, Yeah, for time, someone who right? didn't even know they wanted to run, that's really yeah. good. Oh, that's gosh, phenomenal. Um, also, something that I've noticed lately is that more people in the comments of each video are like contributing advice in addition to all of the advice that we give. Oh, that's, oh, that's awesome. awesome. Um, and so it's really great because everybody's really engaging in comments and uh, whoever asks the question not only will get to hear our ideas, but also what other people think. And if anything, that's probably, that's probably that's probably better. better advice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our communities are, uh, people always ask how to make friends. Go down to the comments and, uh, you know, interact with the people. Right, 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 right. At least on our videos. Yeah, at least on our right, videos. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was super duper great. And someone else uh, yeah. cracked a joke uh, when we had given advice to someone who uh, wasn't confident in their singing, and we all said that we weren't super confident, and uh, Steven said- Boom! Derek, you're Roman! <laughs> For people who don't like to sing, you sure do a lot of singing at the beginning and end of each video. <laughs> oh yeah, I wrote that song. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it, it's a Carlin Brothers original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't even call it a song, really. It's more like a chant. Actually, I think we even wrote to a, uh, a YouTuber friend of ours saying, like, we would love to make a music video or something for this. And they literally they wrote back like, and they were like, well, this isn't really a song. They're like, it's more of a ditty. It doesn't really have a discernible melody, you know. Yeah, 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 whatever. Mm -hmm. I'll discern your melody. <laughs> Whatever that means. 
Uh, somehow so seems inappropriate. Yeah, it kind of somehow sort of does. That's great. All right, uh, so shall we jump into a question? Let's do it. So here's a question from Stephanie. She says, hey guys and Jordan, I'm a flat I wow. need advice from you experts. I'm <laughs> trying. <laughs> All right, wait, let's slow down. Wait, wait, I'm making sure you have the right. <laughs> What are we experts on? Um, is this a Harry Potter question? <laughs> it is not. It, it has to do with work-related things. So she says, I'm working full-time in a job in the finance sector that I don't really like all that much. It pays yes! my bills, but what I want to do is embark on a self-employed journey as a yoga teacher oh, and oh. launch a website related to that. How should I start? Like, how do you start scheduling in time for self-employment next to your actual job? And how do you plan everything out in terms of budget and content, time management tips, and transitioning to full-time? Oh, oh, boy. This is going to be... you got a long road ahead of you. I'll just I'm, go ahead. I'm not going to say that, that we're in. not experts on this particular <laughs> topic, because we did do exactly this thing. We had Me a too. secondary project that became our main job. That is true. That is true. Um, budget, we had, like, zero. So None. Yeah. there's that. Um, Let's see. You're, uh, the thing is, you're really, really, really going to have to love yoga. Uh, and you got to find whatever whatever way you can to put on as many classes and instructional things as you can. I don't know if maybe the way to do that is by video or by going to a gym or... Uh, There's I there's a know. ton of no there's a ton of like collaborative type things that you can do here basically any business that has a rooftop that is functional go and approach the company that owns that building and say oh, hey i would like to host a free rooftop yoga class because people that's love true. rooftop yoga and the other thing is, is that yoga is very expensive that's true um, you can, so yeah free might be the way to go because that's how you're going to build an audience and then also i bet people would tip yeah, I bet they would, and I think if you can find places that are like super collaborative, where like if there's any kind of production-based anything, photographers or videographers, wedding people, you know, where you can incorporate it in there and um, start building relationships with people where like not only can they benefit from your services, but you know, vice versa as well. Um, you know, I think there's so much to be said. Like even when we got Derek here on board to help us like edit videos, it was crazy because it was terrifying. We're like, well, we already edited our videos. Like <laughs> this is not a new thing. It's just a better way to do something all of a sudden. Uh, and it, I think that it made such a massive difference to our our product and even what we felt like we could flex oh, on. Oh gosh, oh, oh, nice. Nice. Man, defense. <clears throat> uh oh, uh oh, that's looking Nice. I like the idea of like contacting someone and doing free rooftop yoga. That sounds really cool and like a it great does. way to build up. And and see if you can offer it as a service to like a business or something. Oh, yeah. Like a lot of um, I actually have a friend, uh, believe it or not, who's trying to get into full time yoga instruction. Huh. And what she's currently doing is uh, oh no Thank oh over time man we were right there. Um, I think a law firm she used to like intern for or something uh, was offering, uh, nope. wanted to offer their employees like some sort of free relaxation techniques or oh, nice. some sort of like uh, gym experience at the office. So she's just sort of <laughs> doing that in her free time and I think they're paying her for it. So um, there's probably businesses, I bet, I bet law firms or anywhere where you think it's like high money, high stress sort of professions. Um, they probably, one, can afford you, and two, uh, <laughs> have people who can take advantage of it, and uh, that's probably an easy way to get started. Or maybe even where you currently work. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that could like, work too, I'd especially. like to lead some yoga workshops like once a month or whatever, I don't I'm, know. I'm, we, we could probably even approach this question from, from beyond yoga, but just probably. the idea of, of developing that. So we'll do that quickly after today's sponsor message. The sponsor of today's episode is Clark. I have no idea what to put here this month, so uh, hello everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's all Clark says. Just a big Goodness hello from gracious. Clark. You know, Clark is always in the comments. He's all over the place. If you guys find Clark, you should really be sure to just go and, you know, say hello back. Just, whenever you find Clark, just be like, what's up, Clark? I'm Lex Luthor. Because, uh, <laughs> Clark goes by Clark is Superman everywhere. I was, was going to say, I was trying to find him on Twitter as you were talking there. Is that his Twitter handle? I'm looking I'm it up right now. now. At Clark is, is Superman. Superman. All right, everyone go follow at Clark is Superman and be like, I'm your kryptonite or some sort of funny Superman 
Oh, that's you know, I love his bio. It says, I do not claim to be Superman. I'm just trying to be a Superman. <laughs> Aww, that's uh -huh. so him. Though. And he is a Superman. That's so something Superman would say. <laughs> We're on to you, Kal-El. All right. Oh, All right. Well, man. thank you so much to Clark for sponsoring this episode of the Chudley Cannons. If you'd like to be a sponsor, you can head over to our Patreon on patreon.com slash supercarlandgaming. It's $25 a month, and you can make us say whatever or just hello. It'll be great. Uh, but anyway, back yeah. to the game. Yeah. Back to the game back and back to the, game. To the Hold question. that one up. Hold that one up, friends. Oh, this is a good a good 1v2 Ooh. Ooh. matchup. Little little Super Bowl preview. If yeah. You know. Let's jump yeah. into the hated Roanoke Express. Fancy schmancy. Yeah, so um, going back to the question, though, about sort of starting a, a secondary career slash business mm. while still working your day job. Don't be frozen. Oh, there, there it is. is. Oh, okay. <laughs> Momentary oh, freak out. That is good advice. That is good advice. Yeah, don't, don't, just, be frozen. Just yeah, don't, don't be frozen. Just don't be frozen. Always be, always be melty. It's be really hard to do your job if you're frozen. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the big thing is though, or otherwise. Uh, for us at least, is is be aware of the fact that, like it's gonna take some of your personal time. Like that's the that sacrifice that comes with it. Um, and I know, like oh. I mean, of course, you guys know our upload schedule Oops. for the main channel is Tuesday, Thursday, but. Mine was always on Thursday, which meant I missed Thursday night football week in, oh, week out. Oh, no. oh Tusk! <laughs> um, and at the time, that was like, you know, something that I, I oh, yeah. uh, very sure. regularly looked forward to. And it was not even infrequent, like Jay and I lived together at the time, so we would have people come over to watch the games with us. Right. And uh, it just meant that you were downstairs in our cold basement, which was supposed to be warm as toast, which it totally wasn't. Oh my gosh, I um, forgot that our landlady referred to the basement as warm as toast a hundred times. A hundred times. That's hilarious. And it was as warm as really cold warm toast. It was, <laughs> it was as much a feature of the house as the fact that it was a brick ranch. <laughs> like, you know, it was like one of these things where, yes, it was house, single level living, oh, with a warm no. as toast basement. That, yeah, that was basically her pitch. That's so funny. It was, um, it was funny how wrong it was, which wasn't funny. Right. Yes, yes. I, I like have fond memories of playing Diablo 3 in that basement. Uh, just shivering next to my radiator. <laughs> Nothing says Diablo 3 like numb fingers. <laughs> no, really though, I mean like that's what I associate now. I, I can't play the game without going back to my rickety Walmart desk. Uh, no! Oh nice. man, what a save. Um, one of the things that I think uh, she's gonna have going for her with this yoga business too, it, since she's doing it in addition to her currently full-time job, a lot of people want to go to those classes, but they happen like during the nine to five. And so since she's probably already working the nine to five, True. she's gonna hit potentially an untouched demographic of oh, people who are interested. True. Yeah. I mean, uh, oh, go ahead, Derek. Oh, I was gonna say uh, with the uh, sort of giving it away for free to try to get um, people going, it's the jab, 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 right hook uh, mentality where you like, you, you give, you give, you give, and then you have the ask of, uh, hey, now you have to pay for it, or now I'm going to be charging for these classes yeah. um, after having given sample classes That's uh, right. a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> we had um, our, even our own personal like trainer guy, yep. he, his arrangement basically was he went to the rock climbing gym and he had no interest in rock climbing. He just wanted to do like weightlifting and stuff, but um, this was a place where he could uh, basically do the classes for free. He offered free classes to rock climbing gym members but then uh, also, you know, if you went to the classes, he would try and sell you on his like five day a week, more intensive uh, program as well. Right, like paid never, personal yeah. training, yeah. And like eventually we were, you know, there are people who will only ever do the free classes, but you know, eventually people, I think, naturally come to become uncomfortable with stuff like that. Um, well, and, and you know, this was such a hustle though, because when I, I remember showing up and asking the trainer at the time, and, and now it seems almost goofy to ask him like what he would climb. But like, I remember walking in thinking like, well, I'm a pretty good climber and I'm doing this to get better at climbing. And I was like, yeah, like what, what do you boulder? And he was like, oh, I, I don't go to the gym very, like I don't climb very often. And what I thought by that was like, maybe once upon a time, he was like a competitive climber. Oh, man. He just doesn't anymore, but he knows how to train us on it. You know, like, right. Like sometimes the best coaches are the people who couldn't do it themselves yeah, because yeah. they they learned all the stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but no, he is just oh! he is just not even at all a rock climber. He just used it as an opportunity because he knew that there were athletes there. Yeah. But now he has his own gym. 
Yeah, and yeah. all four of us have been athletes for him. Yeah. Paid yeah. athletes on a monthly, like, you know, subscription <laughs> basis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, there you go. Yeah. So that um, helps you launch in the I, I really enjoy the... Boom! The gym oh, just like him. that. And I could definitely see how someone would move from the the free class, which, you know, to be fair, I only ever did the, the paid classes because I wanted to go at the same time slot that you guys did. Um, but I know that those free classes can get a little bit crowded, whereas if you pay for it... Yeah, there's a cap. Yeah. 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 More personal attention and mm -hmm. such. Yep. And uh, as, a, as a yoga instructor, you can absolutely do that too, you know, check in on people who haven't been around for a while, which is definitely what happened to me uh, last month with uh, Trainer. <laughs> So hey, so this person had a, a ton of other like ancillary questions. Uh, what were they? Right. Um, so she also asked about um, time management tips, which we covered. Uh, scheduling your time for self-employment next to your job. We we kind of planned that, or we we discussed that a little. Um, planning everything out in terms of budget and content. Oh, Shoot. That was, oh yeah. Okay. That was, um, that was, so the the budget no. <laughs> is the big thing. We both saw it. Yep. <laughs> um, the, that's one of those where like budgets when you actually have a fully functioning business are one of the most critical things towards your success period um, like it's something you have to do and make sure you're constantly aware of because that's where you can get in trouble yeah um, yeah but in the beginning I would almost say don't oh. treat it so much as a business as a passion project um, you know it's sort of like don't don't think about like well I'm putting this much into it and only getting this much out of it oh no oh no <clears throat> Or especially don't start even, like, from a time perspective, don't necessarily start questioning it, like, is this worth my time? Because if you're questioning that, that's probably a problem. Oh, yeah. You know, like, if, if you're not sure whether or not it's worth your time, um, because it should just be something that you would do, even if you weren't paid, and then when you are paid, it's all the happier. It's all the gravy. Actually, I've always said this about... It's a second uh, Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez, that doesn't sound appetizing at all. <laughs> um, I've always said this about Super Carlin Brothers, though, is that, like, Jay was sort of, like, the, the heart and soul of the project. Like, it was... I think it required it both much, of us. Yeah, something I was extremely passionate about. Yeah. And I, I think if not for that... Boom! Nice! Dang, 15 seconds left and we... Oh, we, we, we were, were already yeah. winning, Okay, sorry. You know, well, how to get my hat tricks. So. I'm, I'm nah. proud. <laughs> I'm excited for you anyway. Um, but I think if not for Jay's sort of like... uncontainable enthusiasm for it, <laughs> I probably would have just been like, all right, man, I'm, I'm going to have to... <laughs> This is taking up a lot of time. And, I'm gonna have uh, to go do something else with my free time, like enjoy myself. Yeah. <laughs> but if you can find someone else, or some way to keep yourself accountable too, that's mm -hmm. a, uh, I know a, a big thing. Woohoo! Save. Yeah! The victory, take that, Express. You got nothing. Yeah, got this was the Nothing heading preview. into the postseason. Mm mm. Yeah. What? Oh yeah, that was You had man. eight shots. <laughs> oh, thank you. What? You had eight shots. I had eight shots? Yeah. I only scored three? Yeah. Oh, boy. Huh. That's, not good, out. that's, not, that's not good math if you think about it, but I guess eight shots is good. Well, now we're going to get to number three. Oh man, we've got, man, our, our road to the postseason is littered with difficult teams. Although but, we've, uh, we've been on a hot streak lately. We have yeah. been on a bit of a, the old hot streak a -roo, as they say. Yeah, it's my last seven. game, me starting boomed. Hmm? Yeah, especially when Derek started boomed in the last match. Bam. But we have come out victorious 2-0 today, and I think we helped someone start a brand new yoga studio. Well, I'm so excited about it. I would actually come and take the class because my uh, hip mobility right now is really poor. Yeah, yeah uh -huh. bad hip mobility. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you should do some yoga. No, I know. Instagram I mean, going. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can't beat that. Mm -hmm. Actually, closing note, because I just saw actually what I thought was a spectacular Instagram post per yoga, uh, I, I don't know, commentary, whatever. Um, there was one where you saw a girl and it was a time lapse and she basically just set her camera up to take a picture every five seconds. Mm -hmm. And then she went and did like her entire yoga routine in front of it and it was all time lapsed for, you know, 60 seconds. But you could see how she was capturing a month's worth of content because she would get into a pose, she was perfectly lined up with the camera and it was just snapping the picture. So uh -huh. she, you know, Every oh, five dang. seconds, she just, That's she just got another one. That's the other thing. Hit Instagram hard, because yeah. the yoga scene on Instagram <laughs> is big. Big time. Big time. Hit them hashtags, yo. And <laughs> make sure you uh, hit that like button on this video. Subscribe to the channel and leave us some questions so that we can help you start a yoga studio, too.
Until next time. Charlie Cannons, Charlie Cannons, boom, 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 we are not pirates. <laughs>